What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to Challenge Boy Jared. Y'all, apparently, um, security guards thinking that they law enforcement now. <laughs> if you think I'm bull, if you think I'm bullshitting, top flight security back again. Oh my god, this comment section is funny. Um, <laughs> uh, let's get started. You look good, light set up. Okay, here, did we see the breast a little bit? <laughs> as long as you cool with the breast, we cool with the. That fake ass laugh. That, <laughs> I can't even do that bullshit. I didn't even go try. What's your name, boo? I love that you set up. This is perfect. What's your name? Is it Michaela? Hi, Kendra. My name is Malika. Oh, girl, you know I'm dyslexic. Child. I can't pronounce no damn names. Malika. Okay, sorry to interrupt again. Who the fuck knew Kendra was dyslexic? Who the fuck knew Kendra was dyslexic? Dyslexic. Yeah. Where are you calling me from? Philly. Philly in the building. How old are you? Philly in the building. I'm 42. 42? Yeah. Malika, Philly, 42. Where are you calling me from? Philly. That's dumb. I just said that twice. <laughs> Damn. Kendra, you need to lay off that shit. I'm telling you, you need to lay off that weed, whatever weed you smoking in Cali. You need to stop smoking that shit. You need to stop drinking whatever the fuck you drinking, because damn, that is bad. I just cut somebody ass out, so I guess I got to get back focused. My apologies. You have any that's kids, a, Malika? That's okay. No, I don't have any children. Have you been here before? I have never been here before. Okay. Have you ever been married? I have been married, yes. I've been divorced since 2016. Okay. And um, what do you do for a living, Malika? Um, I work in law enforcement, and I'm also an entrepreneur. Okay. Are you a police officer? I'm a security officer. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be nice. <laughs> she said I work in law enforcement, and you work at your business on it. Then Kendra asked, are you a police officer? No, I'm a security guard. If you don't get your ass <laughs> if you don't get your ass out of here talking about I'm a fucking damn I'm in law enforcement. I'm a law enforcement officer. Your ass over here, damn security officer. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Try to make yourself sound more <laughs> Oh my god. Try to make yourself sound more important than you are. You are top flight security. Get the fuck out. <laughs> So you work in law enforcement and you also an entrepreneur. What do you do as an entrepreneur? Yeah. Um, I'm a personal meal preparer, so I do meal prep. And I also have a vending machine business. Okay, get your coins, girl. So yeah. we got Malika Philly, 42. Literally, nickels. <laughs> Dimes. <laughs> and quarters. Two no kids, was married once before, works in law enforcement, and is an entrepreneur. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Kendra, I need a G. Woo, you need a G. What's a G to you? Yes. Okay, so I made some bullet points. Okay. Okay, so um, he has to be confident. He has to have command presence. He has to be secure within himself. And he has to be not competitive. So I don't want to compete with my man. So. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Ma'am, you talk about you talk about you want to be <laughs> Oh my gosh, she said she got bullet points. Yeah. <laughs> you a you a you a damn security guard and you probably don't even carry a damn uh, gun. <laughs> you gonna be running for the hill along with the people. <laughs> damn. I'm I'm hearing that's a thing nowadays that men are comp competing with women so i don't i don't want to. that's a damn lie y'all competing with us y'all are trying to compete with us for our jobs no y'all need to sit y'all motherfucking goofy asses down ma'am you talk about you don't want to compete with your man who you gonna go you ain't competing with your man you are competing to get your man <laughs> like let's be honest here you say you don't want to you say you don't want to compete for your man you don't want to compete with your man okay cool that's cool. 
But then you gonna be over here trying to compete with your man, and you talk about you ain't trying to compete with your man. That that that's a double edged sword. That you sound crazy. What do you mean as in competing? Like as an in income? Um, just as in you know, it's a lot of women out here that's really doing their thing. Like the the girls, like they having their way out here. So um, and a lot of men, I don't know if. I don't know. Like they, they feel like they have to compete and be in competition with women in general, and sometimes they're women also. So I don't want to be. That's a lie because every man on this podcast know that this is cap. Women be competing with us. We trying to damn. We trying to build our lives up. Y'all over here talking about I can do this better than you. Get your ass out of here. That bullshit. Before you fall on your face, trying to lift something heavy. Yeah, okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, so no male Virgos, no Leos, no smokers. Okay. No male Virgos, no Leos, no smokers. Okay, the smokers I understand. But no male Virgos and no Leo. Whew. Okay, question. Is it that y'all are so pathetic to where y'all can't come up with an original thought in your damn mind talking about astrology signs? Is is that really is it really that bad to where y'all can't even come up with an original thought in your brain to where your deal to where you could come up with your own deal breakers instead of talking about a astrological sign? I guess t- I guess that's the reason why she got hired for top flight security. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. <laughs> no Virgos? What's no Virgo. 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 Oh, yeah, I forgot to ask you. So you're a Virgo, and you don't yeah. want to date another Virgo? No. Okay. Do you want to explain why? Um, no Virgos, um, they're just different. Like, they're a little bit controlling. Um, they can be competitive, and sometimes they think they they just know it all. Like they have all the answers. So okay. I have dated male Virgos before, and it's some of them I've, I've gotten along with, and some of them was just like, no thank you. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. So, um, did he look a certain way? Yes. Um, I am very, very, very big on um, how my man looks. So. Um, I have to be attracted to him, but I like a certain body type. Like I like an athletic body type, um, like a basketball player or a football player. Nicely built, nice arms, nice chest, nice hands, nice feet. Nice hands and nice feet. What the fuck you be doing sucking on that nigga toes? Oh Lord Jesus, we got a toe sucker over here. She got a fetish. Yeah, and that's a red flag. <laughs> she likes sucking toes. Um, but um, back to that whole thing of you want a G. Man, you work for Top Flight Security. Any G you going to get is going to be automatically turned into the, fed, to the feds. What is the Allied Systems, Allied Systems and some shit? Or Brinks, that's who you work for. Oh boy! Nice, nice little booty. So you want a football player? Um, he doesn't necessarily have to be a football player, but I do like the aesthetic. Okay, football player, because I think basketball is tall. Well, some of them are tall, but some of them are like AI height. Okay. But I just I like, like a nice body. body. Okay. Um. Now, money. Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, 80K is fine. 80K is fine. Should he be in Philly? 80K is fine for a top flight security officer. Okay. Well, Miss Officer of us, uh, I'm going to need you to go take your ass back to where you came from. Top, light, top flight security, the that is secure it to the ground. No. You don't want him in Philly? Uh, he doesn't have to be in Philly. No. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do the 
Say it one more time, honey. I said, I don't mind traveling. Okay. Let's see the Kendra Cam. Okay. I see this body, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna move my chair out the way, okay? Okay. Do I get okay? We see you. Let's see this. Okay. You definitely got a shade. Okay. Woo. Yeah, she had work done. Cause look at the size. She had work done. Oh, we see you. You have a nice I'm body. So nervous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You have a nice body. Thank you, Kendra. Um, Malika, correct? I'm saying it right? Yes. When was your last relationship? Um, About two years ago. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm going to pass. Okay. Three <laughs> last night at work with her boss. I wish they stopped doing I wish that was a mandatory because um is a mandatory for the men. Cars we have to work on. Okay. So uh, okay, so I have a savior complex. You have a what a savior a, complex. A savior a savior complex? Have you ever, have you ever heard of that? Yeah, you like to save people that need to be saved. Well, or you try to save people. Yeah, like I, I, um, I'm like a people pleaser, and especially in relationships, like I like to make sure my folks is alright. So I kind of like go over and beyond to make sure they are. Right. Okay. Um, sometimes I can be resentful, and my ego is. 12 feet tall. <laughs> Especially in relationships, like I like to make sure my folks is all right. So I kind of like go over and beyond to make sure they are. Right. And especially in relationships, um, I'm like a people pleaser. I can be resentful. So you're a people. So you try to people please motherfuckers. They don't give a shit about you. You're resentful and spiteful, broad. Oh, that's it. Just keeps getting better and better. That's a, these are flaws, y'all. And my ego is twelve feet tall. <laughs> twelve feet, twelve foot tall ego that needs to be cut down like a branch. Yeah, okay. You're so, a big ego. I have a huge ego. Well, to match that good ego, let me inflate it right now. L double I said, Auntie, you can come arrest me anytime, any day, respectfully. <laughs> Nigga, if you don't get your ass out of here, you need to be arrested. <laughs> I get that all the time. <laughs> they was like, I broke the law just for you. <laughs> Um, so why would a guy be lucky to be I wish somebody handcuffed my eyeballs to my damn pillow right now with you Malika so I'm on a self aware journey and I'm just my goal is to be the best possible version of myself that I can be so anyone who meets me when I'm at my best they're going to benefit from me okay now what's the age range you would date you are 42 um, between 38 and 46. 38 and 46. Could the guy have kids already? Yes, he can have children. Okay. Well, they like you, girl. Just Jay Carter said, 41, what do you say? 41, no kids, decent job, a real entrepreneur with tangible businesses. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold the fuck up. 41, no kids. Yeah, that's okay. Um, decent job. She works for a security company. I guess that's decent. A real entrepreneur. She could just be saying this shit, sir. 
She could just be saying this shit. You gonna be talking about a real entrepreneur with a tangible business. Um without a EIN number or document and shit, I don't believe nothing these motherfuckers say. Actual flaws, that's bullshit. That was some bull <laughs> boy. Willing to take everything under the damn sun just because she's pretty. Okay. Actual flaws. I hope she finds her king. Thank you so much. And I hope he finds a damn some handcuffs to arrest himself to the jail cell because that's damn dumb. <laughs> I like you. I they was so nice nervous to, to come they, on here. They like you, girl. They like you, girl. Um, okay, now the time has come. How can the guy reach out to you? Are you on the app? I am on the app. Okay, let me find your name. Is it your name? What's your name on the app? So it's it's meal prep. And yeah. I mean, some telling me that she that she capping all over the place about this one. Some telling me it's all cap. But anyways, <sighs> I hate when these type of people lie. I really do. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, and subscribe to the com if you guys want to support the channel. Send it to me on Cash Shop at dollar sign uh, dollar sign Skyrocket 04. I will see you guys on the flip side and thank you guys for listening. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, let me go take my black ass to sleep. Anyways, good night guys. Bye guys.